Are you wondering how to make your own quiz game in Scratch? Well, today I will teach you guys how to create a quiz to see how much knowledge you know about something. The first step is, of course, create a new project. Then, come up with an idea for your quiz. My quiz is going to be about soccer. So we can go ahead by just deleting the Scratch Cat right away. Then you can go ahead and create two sprites. We can change the name of the first sprite to question, and the name of the second sprite to option 1. Now you can go ahead and create a background. I'm going to go online to get my background. There we go. Now I have my soccer background. Now let's go ahead and actually make the question. You either already know a question and an answer to write, or you're going to have to do some research on the topic. So now that I have a question and an answer for my quiz, I can go into my question sprites costume editor and write out my question. Feel free to play around with all the different colors. Also, you can play around with different fonts that Scratch has to offer. You can design your quiz however you want to. In this tutorial, I'm going to have 10 questions. I can easily add another question by duplicating the first question and changing the text to add another question. Make sure to do this process another 8 times. Once we have all 10 questions done, we can go into the question sprites code and make two variables, one called correct for all sprites, another one called question number. We can hide these variables for now. So the first little bit of coding we're going to do is going to be in the question sprite. So inside the question sprite, we're going to code when green flag clicked, show, go to front layer, and switch costume to one. So our first question is the one being asked. Then, we're going to go and do one green flag click, set crack to zero, and set question number to one. The next step would be going into option one and designing how our answer will be laid out. So, when was the first row cut? I can make the option one either the right answer or the wrong answer. I'm going to start by making it the right answer. You can design this however you want. Make sure to put your text center on the editor. Now you can work on designing your option one sprite. After you're happy with your design, make sure to position the answer accordingly. Move it to where you want it to be and look at the X and Y value. Then code, one green flag click, show, Go to front layer, switch costume to one, and then make sure to go to that X and Y position. Now we have to add some very important code. Make sure you get this code right or your quiz will not work correctly. So now we can code when green flag click forever if they go into sense and get a touching last pointer and mouse down block. And then operators get an and block. Then the first input, we put touching mouse pointer and mouse down. Then you can go and put it right into that if then section. Then we're going to go into our variables and say change correct by 10. After you have this code, you need to add this or it will not work. So make sure you have if question equals 1. And then we're going to get an and block. So if question equals 1, and, then you're going to drag these bits of code into the code right there. There we go. So question, we're going to show that variable. It's 1. There we go. We have 10. But what if we set question to 2? Now if we click on it, look, our correct does not go up. This is what we want. 
That's only if it's question 1 and you click on this option, will it work? Later on the quiz, maybe on question 7, this option will be the correct answer too. Now that everything is working out well, all you gotta do is make sure the question switches after you click an answer. This is really easy to code, and all you gotta do is code on this right click and broadcast a new message. I'm gonna title my message, Switch Costume. Then we can go into the question sprite. In our question sprite, you're gonna wanna code when I receive switch costume, change question number by one, and then next costume. This out. I click on the question. There we go. Next question. So this bit of code that we recently added, we're also gonna need to add it into the option one sprite. We can do this by opening the backpack and dragging it into the backpack. And then we can go into the option one sprite and drag it into the stage of code. There we go. It's important that you have this bit of code. So the next step is to go into your option one sprite, go into your costumes, then duplicate the first costume. Then for your second question, you're gonna make this be an answer. So how many World Cups did Brazil win? I'm gonna make this a fake answer because I want my answer in the bottom right to be the correct answer this time. So I'm going to say 6. And I can continue doing this 8 more times. But some of the times, I'm going to make sure it is the correct answer. So after you're done creating 10 different answers, one answer for each question, you're going to need to look at which answers you created that are actually the right answer for that question. So, for question 1, 1930 is the correct answer. And then for question 3, 172 is the right answer. And then for my last question, question 7 is also the right answer. So, this is important that you know which answers are actually the right answers. Now that we know question 1, 3, and 7 are the correct answers, we can duplicate this code right here and change the question number value. So where it says question 1, we can change it to question 3, because if question 3 is clicked, it is the correct answer. So our correct variable needs to go up by 10. We can duplicate this one more time, and change it to 7. Now that we got one option completely working, all you gotta do is duplicate it, and make it the option 2 sprite. Now you just change where it's positioned, right there, look at the x and y value, then change it in your code. So I'm going to change that to 81 and minus 3. And of course, now all you got to do is go into the costumes and change all the answers. Pick some of the other questions that aren't number 1, 3, or 7 to be the correct answer. So you could choose 4, 5, whatever questions you want to be the correct answer. So, in my quiz, question 2 and 8 are the correct answer. So in my code, all I gotta do is change the question value to 2, and on the other bit of code to 8, and then I can remove the extra bit of code. Now, just do this step two more times to create two more options for your quiz. The last thing I want to show you guys is how to make a result page so you can see how much answers you got right or which percent you got. So let's make a new sprite and call it N. Now I'm just going to get my background, copy it, and paste it into the sprite. Now I'm just going to add some final text and say final results. So now, in case if you're wondering how to code this, just code when green flag clicked, hide, go to back layer. And then code when green flag clicked, forever, if, and again operator equals, if question number equals 11, we're also going to want to code when green flag clicked, hide our variable, and then also show variable correct once question equals 11. 
Right now, you notice how it's in this readout. I can right click on the variable and change the readout to this form, which I think looks better. Now the quiz is finally done. Time to answer. Yay, 100%. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped you make your own quiz game in Scratch. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!